In this video, we will explain what it means for a set to be convex, and we will prove that the sets of linear programming are all convex. Let's consider a set S, which is a subset of Rn. We say that S is convex if whenever we take two points x and y of S, then any point in between x and y is still in S. More formally, a point in between x and y is a point that can be rewritten as a so-called convex combination of x and y, which means that there is some weight lambda in 0, 1, such that z is equal to lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y. An important theorem of linear programming and its geometry is that the feasible set of linear programming is convex. Before proving this theorem, let's recall that any feasible set of linear programming can be written as a set P of points in Rn such that Ax is greater or equal to B where A is some matrix M by N and B is some vector of real numbers. We can now give the proof. Consider a feasible set P of a linear program and assume X and Y belong to P. Then we know by definition that Ax is greater or equal to B and Ay is greater or equal to B. Now let's consider any point z equals to lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y in between x and y. This means that for all i in the 1 to n, zi is equal to lambda xi plus 1 minus lambda yi. We have the jth coordinate of az equals to the sum for all i's of aji zi. And this is equal to the sum for all i's of aji times lambda xi plus 1 minus lambda yi, which is equal to the sum for all i's of lambda aji xi plus 1 minus lambda aji yi. Now we can separate the sum, we obtain two sums. The first is the sum for all i in n of lambda aji xi plus the sum for all i in n of 1 minus lambda aji yi. Now we can take the lambdas and minus lambdas out of the sum. We obtain lambda times the sum of aji xi plus 1 minus lambda times the sum of the aji yi. And we recognize here the values of axj and ayj. In other words, the jth coordinate of az is going to be itself a convex combination of the jth coordinates of ax and ay. But we know that the jth coordinate of Ax is greater or equal to Bj, and the jth coordinate of Ay is greater or equal to Bj as well. Thus, we know that Az of j is going to be at least lambda times Bj plus 1 minus lambda Bj, which is equal to Bj. And thus, for all j's, we have Az of j, which is greater or equal to Bj, which corresponds to saying that Az is greater or equal to B which means that z is in p. Thus, any point in between two points of p is still in p. This proves that the feasible set of linear programming is indeed convex QED. Now, I have given the details of the computations here, but more generally, multiplications by matrix is a linear operation, which means that a z is equal to a of lambda x plus 1 minus lambda y, which by linearity is going to be lambda ax plus 1 minus lambda ay. Using this, the proof becomes very straightforward and we see immediately that az is at most lambda b plus 1 minus lambda b, which is equal to b. This is a way to skip a lot of details of computation and it turns out to be extremely useful if you want to manipulate linear operations in practice.